Welcome to this video on percentages. It's an important video to watch because every topic in math literacy has some questions about or could have some questions about percentages. So if you're comfortable with percentages, then it just makes it so much easier to score good marks in the subject. Eh? I'm quickly going to show you a couple of um, important things to remember when you're working with percentages. And then I'll be explaining percentage increase and percentage decrease and how to multiply with percentages. If you look on the screen now, you will see that um, you can rewrite the 4% as 4 over 100. Now you might say, oh, that's basic. But you know what? There are even grade 12s that make this mistake. They forget that 4% is actually 4 over 100 and that it can be written as 0, 0, 4. And that number you can use to do your calculations. I'm going to do a couple more just so that you can get the hang of it if you're not sure. 3, 4 over 100. If you have to um, take, say, a 3, 4 divided by 100, then it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 3, 4. And then that is the number that you'll punch into your calculator when you need to do um, calculations. 0, 0, 6. Percent is also 0, 0,6 over 100, and that is equal to 0, 0, 0, 6. All right, a couple more things before we move on to the more difficult um, percentage-related uh, um, concepts. A common fraction, when you have to convert that to a percentage, sometimes maybe in paper one you might get, or um, uh, question one of both papers, you might get this. 3 over 8 is a common fraction, and if you have to convert it to a percentage, then you multiply by 100, and then you'll get 3 divided by 8 times 100 will give you 37,5%. If we look at a decimal fraction, an example will be 1,23, and if we have to convert that to a percentage, then we have to multiply by 100, and that will become 123%. Now we're going to look at if it's you're given an amount, and you have to either increase it or decrease it by a, a certain percentage. You get given the amount and you get given the percentage by which you must increase it. Here's an example. Um, let's see. Increase 250 by 14%. So I would set it out like this. New amount equals 250 plus 14% of 250. And in the second line, we're going to write 250 plus. And now if you take 14% and you do it the way I showed you, in the beginning, it's going to be 0, 0,14 times 250. That times is just in place of the of. 250 plus, and now 14% of 250, that is 35 Rand. And then we're going to get an answer of 285. And 285, if it's percentage increase, must always be more than the 250. Now we're going to look at a decrease by a given percentage. And now the example I've got here is decrease 200 by 5%. I've set it out like this. New amount equals 200 minus 5% of 200. And you've got to say minus because it is a lower amount. We are decreasing. And in the second line, we're going to write 200 minus, and I like to use brackets. It helps a lot to just keep things together and to show your marker where you've grouped things. 5% is 0, 0,05 times 200 Rand. And we get an, the next line, we're going to write 200 minus 0, 0, 0,05 in a calculator times 200 will be 10 Rand. And then your answer there will be 200 minus 10 is 190 Rand. So that is your final answer. This question is a little bit more complicated than the, and more difficult than the previous two easier examples. But let's have a look at it and I'm going to go through it with you. A house was bought for 780,000 in 2017 and sold for 5,6% more in 2020. What was the selling price of the house in 2020? So the selling price, I'm just going to write SP for selling price, equals 780,000 plus, because it's more, 5,6%. Now 5,6% 
is 0, 0, 5, 6. And it's of, so we're going to put a time sign, 780,000. If you want to write 5,6% of 780,000 first, you can do that and then go to this step. It doesn't matter. 780,000 plus, and then you work that 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 6 times um, 780,000 and you get an answer of 43,680. And then you add those two together and then you get 823. 1680 and that will be your selling price. Okay, so now let's move on to questions where you've got given given two amounts and you have to calculate the percentage increase or the percentage decrease. And there are formulas that you can use. Percentage increase, if you look on the screen there, is the increase, the difference over the starting amount times 100 or percentage decrease is the decrease, it's also the difference over the starting amount times 100. So they're actually the same thing. It's just you have to remember to subtract the two amounts and put them over the starting amount. The starting amount is the most important because that's where people make a mistake. They don't know if I put the first amount, the second amount, or what which amount must I use, but it's the starting amount or the initial amount. And I've put two steps there to help you. You calculate the difference. That's the very first thing you do. You minus the two, and then you put that difference over the starting amount and multiply by 100. Let's look at some examples now. Here is an example. If you look in the middle of the screen, it says the Alerna bought a cell phone for 800 Rand and sold it for 900 Rand. That's a lucky learner. Calculate the percentage increase in the selling price. So the difference, we're going to take 900 Rand minus the 800 Rand, and we're going to get an answer of, yes, 100 Rand. There we go. And then we're going to substitute that into the formula. And the formula says percentage increase equals the increase, or you could say the difference. So we're going to put 100 Rand at the top over, what was the starting amount? What did he start with? He, it was cheaper, or it cost him less, hey? 800 Rand. So we're going to put 800 Rand over at the bottom, and always, because we're working out a percentage, it's times 100. And if you have to do that in your, put that into your calculator, you're going to get an answer of 12,5. And what's missing here? The percentage sign. There we go. So then it's 12,5%. This next example, let's read it. I'm leaving the steps there so you, it can help you. A car depreciated in value from 40,000 in 2016 to 28,000 in 2020. Depreciated means the value went down. Calculate the percentage by which the car, value of the car decreased. Okay, so let's look. What must we do first? Calculate the difference. Okay, so now we're going to take 40,000 minus 28,000. And the answer is 12,000. So the difference is 12,000. Now, I haven't put the formula yet. Can you remember what must be, how, how, what the formula looks like and what should be at the top? We put the difference at the top over the initial amount, the initial amount, the first a value that he started with. So what was the, what did they start with? 40,000 started at 40 and it went down. So that's the that's the calculation that you must put over there. And we're working out percentage again, so it's times 100 that you should know by now. And if you do that calculation on your calculator, let's, I wonder what the answer would be. The answer is 30%. There we go. So that is your final answer. Right, so the last example we're going to do is this one, and I want you to pay careful attention. Yeah, it's a little bit of a twist on everything, but let's see. A babysitter charges 25 Rand per hour to look after children, but on weekends, she charges 15 Rand more per hour. By what percentage is her weekly hourly rate more than what she charges during the week? Okay, so let's first see. What is her rate during the week? If we look here, it's 25 Rand per hour. And her weekend rate, let's see, she charges 25 Rand in the week, but she charges 
15 rand more. So we've got to add the 15 rand. So now we're going to get 25 rand plus 15 rand. And that gives us an answer of 40 rand per hour. Is that the end of the question? No, because it said by what percentage is her weekend hourly rate more than what she charges during the week. So now we're going to look at how the weekend rate is higher than the weekly rate and by what percentage it is higher. You have, you have to put your difference at the top, so it's 40 minus 25 over what is your, uh, the number that you put at the bottom? Will it be the 40 or the 25? Think about it. Right, the 25. Because that was the lower amount and they wanted to know by what percentage it had increased over the weekend. So 40 minus 25 over 25, multiply by 100 because we're working out percentage. You subtract the top two numbers and you get 15 over 25 times 100 and then if you work that out, 15 divided by 25 times 100 will give you 60% increase. So she's making quite a bit more money over the weekends per hour than during the week. I hope that helped you. And I'm going to have another video on percentages where I deal with exam questions that are much more complicated. And I'll show you different scenarios where you get percentages. But good luck with your percentages and see you soon.